guys so today I'm excited because I got this Yuppo paper and I really wanted to try out alcohol inks actually I'm just gonna take that right off <laughs> um, alcohol inks on Yuppo and so I have a whole bunch of my alcohol inks right here I also have some Pabeo 160 and some of Dr. P.H. Martin's iridescent copper plate gold. So I'm, I don't know if these are going to work for the gold because I don't actually have a gold and I wanted to put one in. But I'm going to try some different stuff. So I'm sure like you guys, you probably got your alcohol inks that you use for coasters and everything and always wanted to try it on Yepo paper. And from the survey, it sounded like you guys wanted to try it on Yepo paper. So here's the beautiful Yepo paper, which isn't really paper. It's, uh, this one, it, what does it say? Paper that is not paper. It's tree-free, stain-proof, and erasable, allowing watercolors to rethink watercolor from a fresh perspective. Anyways, we're going to use it with alcohol inks. <laughs> And I'm excited. I got my heat gun ready to try it out. I also have my isopropyl alcohol, which you need when you're doing this kind of artwork. So you need your alcohol inks and your isopropyl alcohol. And I got some pipettes, mostly for the isopropyl alcohol, just to get it out of the bottle. And that way I can just do 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 on here <laughs> and give it a whirl. So I'm not sure what colors because I don't, I've got pearl, there's a whole bunch. I'm going to try it with the blue though. And I got different brands like this is Jim Holtz, the Adirondack alcohol ink. Then I got this Panada color from Jacquard. So I got a whole bunch of different kinds that I just thought I'd play with. This one says copper, but <laughs> not too sure. I got blue violet, might be pretty. And I got some coral, some plum color. I think I'm just gonna work with this one first and see how it goes and try it out. Might as well play with it. Let's get the isopropyl alcohol ready. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to squish the pipette and suck some up here so that I can get some some of it in here. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> well there's a little bit in there. I can always grab more. So I'll put that actually in here that I have it ready to go. A lot of people are putting them in little containers and stuff, which you can totally do. And here I have just this pretty, really pretty blue. There we go. Let's see what this does. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. So all I did was I put a little drop of the ink and then some isopropyl alcohol all over. I kind of just wanted to swirl it around and see because I heard you could get a nice faded effect from it. And then I'll bring in my heat gun. Okay so as you can see I just push the alcohol ink around with my heat gun until it dries. And I keep applying alcohol ink and isopropyl alcohol, swirling it around and using the heat gun to push it around and dry it. I found that with the Yuppo and alcohol inks, the best thing is to basically layer, layer, layer. So I kept adding more and more layers of alcohol ink and I found that I got some really beautiful results from adding several layers. So you'll see me here adding many layers of alcohol ink in the three colors I chose 
with some isopropyl and I moved it around. I also flicked the isopropyl alcohol and that's what gave the little round dots, which I thought were really pretty and cute. So if you're wondering how to get the little dots that I got, I was just using my fingers and putting a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on them and then just kind of flicking them onto the paper and it gave a really cool effect. I also used the Dr. Martin's gold and I swirled it around because I wanted to add some gold. It really, it worked. So if you don't have the actual alcohol ink gold, you can use the ink from uh, the Dr. Martin's edition. And all I did was mix it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and it worked. So I really enjoyed using these alcohol inks on Yepo paper as they worked really good. And I hope you guys have fun playing around with yours on Yepo paper and experimenting and trying different things out.